time to answer some common health questions right now. Joining us with the answers, News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. And first of all, thank you for being here, Doctor. Good to the see you. The topic Mike. of the day is yes. headaches. Okay, we all want to know how to get rid of them. But here's a question for you Does the weather affect headaches? Yeah, you know, uh, there's never been really a lot of research in that venue, mm -hmm. but 30 million plus Americans that suffer from migraines will tell you that it does. So we're kind of finding some interesting things. One is warm weather is a trigger, okay. low barometric pressure, drastic temperature changes, mm -hmm. and then interestingly, lightning strikes. Matter of fact, a recent study showed that when a lightning struck within 25 miles of your house, you had a 28% increase in getting a migraine. So okay. Kind of strange, we don't really know what the real mechanism is, but we have a couple of postulations, a couple of theories. One is that the low barometric pressure triggers the trigeminal nerve, which climbs up the face, up in the sinuses and mm -hmm. the eyes, and that can trigger a migraine headache. And the other is that it can affect some of the neurotransmitters in the brain, like serotonin, yep. that in turn can dilate the vessels and cause migraines. So, jury's still out, very interesting, mm -hmm. we'll see. I'm sure there'll be a lot more research to come on this topic. Plenty of lightning strikes here in Florida. There sure is. So, good to know that. All right, can you take anything to prevent migraine headaches? Yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, more than two, three decades ago when all we had was an aspirin to treat a migraine. Then over the course of the past uh, uh, years and decades, we've developed some really good medications to treat migraines like sumatriptans, imitrex, things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm came with a lot of side effects, yeah. not necessarily the best way to go. Now, today, the day and age is for prevention. That's where the treatment focus is right now. Sure. So it's all about prevention. So how do we do that? Well, clearly what we want to do is fewer drugs, fewer side effects, mm -hmm. and that in turn will improve the quality of our patients' lives. So three sort of things. One okay. is know your triggers, whether it be certain foods, certain medications, certain behaviors, stress activities. Yeah. Try to avoid those triggers. If in fact, and many times, those who have migraines know when they're coming on, there's that vulnerability period. Sure. Take certain medications that have been deemed much safer than the previous generation of meds to prevent it from coming on. Mm -hmm. And then also, there's a lot of research going on right now that show non-medicinal therapies like magnesium, riboflavin, even CoQ10 that actually mm -hmm. have anti-migraine property. So keep an eye out for that. Talk to your doctor about it. And uh, I, think we're, I think we're heading in the way to where you will not have to have as many as you used to suffer from. So Heading in the way. Yes. For you caught headaches. that. You caught, caught that, that right okay. at the end. Hey, maybe you have a question for Dr. David Saria. You can send them into our website, WPTV.com. Just click on the health link. Scroll right down to the right-hand side. You can see that form to write your question. We'll see you next week about this time, Dr. David. Hey, Matt, Mike. Thanks.